Hello there, this is Don Curran with Shelbyville Today. The first weekend of May 2014, and a pretty busy weekend. Uh, first off, I just wanted to mention one item of note. Uh, th today is Thursday, uh, May 1st, and it was uh, reported that uh, there's a couple of people that were trying, making a plan to kidnap a kid, and uh, apparently the descri only description they have is a man and woman, and uh, they have a blue and white or white and blue moped. So uh, make sure your kids are um, aware to, to uh, never talk to strangers or go anywhere with strangers and to be on the lookout for that. And uh, if you do see anyone matching that description, it's uh, better safe than sorry. Go ahead and report it and uh, let, the, let the police determine whether it's uh, just mistaken identity or not. So hopefully they get that all resolved and straightened out. Uh, but anyway, on to the weekend. There's a couple of items, um, big items that I wanted to mention. First of all, it is First Friday. Uh, and so they're starting this uh, First Fridays downtown. They did this last year. They'll have it all through spring, summer, fall. Um, basically, the downtown merchants are, you know, they'll have special deals. They'll try and have some things going on out on the sidewalks. Um, they're going to have art the art community will be downtown there may be music this week they're actually having a car show that will be happening in the center um, of the the circle area of the public square and uh, also there's something else really cool some of the local merchants uh, are going to be sh having their goods at the uh, Methodist building because what they're trying to do they want to do an open market in the downstairs of the Methodist building when the new uh, revisions are launched and so what it'll be is uh, handcrafted goods things like that um, you know handcrafted foods uh, crafts things like that um, and so they'll have merchants selling that stuff and so this weekend is going to be kind of a sneak peek at that downtown at the Methodist building so be on the lookout for some of the people perhaps that you see at uh, the farmers markets plus others goods as well. Uh, so be aware of that. Uh, the other big event that's happening is that uh, Rupert's Kids is having a big fundraiser. Uh, Rupert uh, is wanting Bonham is wanting to bring his uh, charity to Shelbyville, and uh, he works with troubled youth and uh, gives, has them work on projects, teaches them a skill, gives them some self-worth, and uh, so really good thing. Uh, and so he's having a big charity event. Saturday is golf. It's only $40. You get lunch and um, a buffet at the uh, casino afterwards. So great, great deal there if you're a golfer. On Sunday, there is a bicycle ride. There's 15 mile and 40 mile bicycle rides. Um, and then there's also then a motorcycle charity ride that Rupert will be leading um, in the after around noon on Sunday. So three big events there, all going for a great cause. Um, really look forward to Rupert's kids being here in Shelbyville and helping our youth um, and you know making some good positive change here in our community. Um, also on Friday evening, the First Presbyterian Church is having a um, I've seen ham and beans and ham and spuds. So ham and something uh, charity uh, dinner, and the proceeds from that go to help with their youth group's uh, mission trip this summer. Uh, so you can go get dinner there and then head downtown for the first Friday events. Uh, on Saturday, a pretty unique event, the Lions Club is sponsoring a breakfast but it's at the uh, Shelbyville Airport, and it's a fly-in, drive-in breakfast. So uh, we may see some uh, planes flying in uh, to have breakfast. Uh, also, the uh, Parks Department is having their big annual, uh, well, actually semi-annual, they have it spring and fall, uh, garage sale at the Parks Department. Uh, so lots of different garage sales set up within the Parks Department building there on Tompkins. And uh, so you can go there and get some great deals. Um, also, the uh, annual St. Vincent Parish uh, Charity Tea is happening on Saturday. Uh, there's a chili cook-off happening at the middle school. The proceeds from that go to Larry uh, Swango 
Uh, apparently he has a Lou Gehrig's disease, and so they're raising some funds for his family uh, to help them out with their expenses. And uh, so a chili cook-off and silent auction at the Shelbyville Middle School for that. And finally, can't have a weekend without the Strand Theater. And so the Strand Theater, the Shelbyville High School Jazz Band, will be putting on a concert at the Strand on Saturday evening. And I believe that is free. I'm pretty sure that's free. Um, I believe the next weekend, the middle school will be having a jazz band concert as well. And that's a feeder program into the high school's jazz band. Um, and then, as I said, the Sunday events have to do with Rupert, got the bicycle ride, and the motorcycle event. All right, well, that's what I've got for you this weekend. Uh, you know, so be aware of what's going on around you, uh, report any uh, suspicious activity, and uh, most of all, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your week. Uh, take part in some of these great events in Shelby County, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.